we're going to try to do is we're going to try to convert this into a belt. So we have to cut uh, all of this side off because that's not going to lay flat. We're just going to worry about the center tread. So first thing you want to do is you want to get through it. Cords there where it sits in the beads. And you could probably hack your way through it, but that would uh, take quite a bit of effort. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to cut all the way along the edge. I've discovered that the easiest way to remove the center part of the tread, which is what's going to become our belt, when I remove the first side, is you sort of pull on the belt, put it in vice, and pull up on the belt so that the rubber isn't pushing the sides of the blade. So pull up a bit and just run your blade along. Time. And once it starts getting a little difficult because you're too far away from the vise, just move along the sidewall a little bit further and just keep going like this. I did try uh, snips, I tried uh, heavy duty scissors, all sorts of things. Seems to be the way that's not going to take me all day just to cut the center out of the tread tire. We're just going to keep it this for a while. You certainly get a good appreciation for, uh, for how tough the tires are when you start trying to cut the center of the tread off. out how to cut her and uh, put the belt stuff on. And then I have it turned to length. And uh, on the end I was just moving around with a little bit to see how she cut to finish and uh, well, it'll be a little ugly but you know be desired. What you want to do is the end you buckle it Basically what you want to do is you want to have the buckle there and then fold it over. And then we'll use some nice uh, 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 machine screws just to tie that end together like that with the tongue coming through. Make the holes for the tongue and those screws. What we'll have to do is we'll have to punch some holes. The easiest way to punch a hole in the rubber is to take a piece of brake line and uh, use a file, file the inside of it, so that it makes a cutter. You can whack it with a hammer. You want to whack it from the webbing side through the rubber. Try to do it from the rubber to the webbing side. You'll be there all day and you probably won't be successful because your rubber will cushion it too much and it just won't cut. So. About a little whack here with the hammer and we'll see how that cuts. There we go. Cuts just like I want her to. And then push her through and we get a perfect round hole out of it. And a piece of rubber plug you can kind of pull out of your cutter. Another shot.
just uh, take a file and sharpen her up a little bit. And then give her a couple more shots. Just take a file. on her. She's ready to go again. Thinking it out a little bit. Last longer. I'm pounding her into some wood instead of onto steel. So we'll give that a try. that plug out. Kind of went too far. That's the problem. goes through, I'm going to want to make that long slot, so that'll take a little bit of, a uh, little bit of work to get a slot there. up a little bit. Some, uh, some, some, some uh, machine screws to keep that together. I found a couple of nice uh, uh, machine screws and a uh, couple of nuts and some washers. And now uh, just tighten that up. Uh, just not, it's not over tight though. We don't want uh, the hardware to be cutting into the rubber. kind of gives it that rusted look on the back side because we don't want that to go into us. Uh, just have to shave that off with the hacksaw. And then uh, 
So I'm just going to stake it over so that it will never come undone. And uh, we have the bell. The only other thing we're going to have to do then is take our punch and put a row of uh, poles there. And, uh, we'll end up with a nice, nice fancy dandy belt so we can wear to rallies and stuff. And it'll look real cool and everyone will say, oh, where'd you get the belt? Or not.